Welcome back to Math We Know. Solve this equation about x. First to the power of x, the minus a to the power of x is equal to 2. What should we do? How should we deal with this question? Of course, first, we should remove this 2 from the right hand side. That means we should subtract 2 from the both hand sides, and you can get. First to the power of x, the minus a to the power of x, the minus 2, and the right hand side is just 0. How nice it is. And then, observe this equation. Since this is an exponential equation, x appears as the exponent. So, we have to find out the relationships between its bases. This base is 4, and this base is 8. Maybe you want to say 4 times 2 is 8. However, it is not the main line for us to solve this question. The really useful relationship between them is 4 is 2 squared, and 8 is 2 cubed. They are both integer powers of 2. So, now let's replace this 4 as 2 to the power of 2 and regard this 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So 4, it can be written as 2 squared, 8, 2 to the power of 3, 2 cubed, and then minus 2. So now, what should we use? Hmm, the exponents are still x. So what's our problem? Our problem is, here is 2, here is 3. The exponents in the bases are different. So for dealing with this problem, we have to use a formula. a to the power of m, and then also the power of n. Mm -hmm. Recite it. It is a to the power of m times n, and it can also be written as a to the power of n first, and then a to the power of m. Bravo! In this term, in this section, a is 2, and m is this exponent 2 in the base, and n is x, so it is equal to a to the power of n, a to the power of m. Mm -hmm, it is, a is this 2, and n is x. And then a to the power of m is this 2. And then minus. The same way, the same method. 2 to the power of 3, a to the power of x, it is 2 to the power of x, and then a to the power of 3 and then minus 2 is equal to 0. You can see that these two bases, they are the same. 2 power of x. So we can substitute it. Let it be equal to t. And now you should pay Attention. The range of 2 to the power of x is always positive. That means t it is positive. t is positive. This will be the equation about t. t squared minus t cubed minus 2 is 0. Since so this exponent is bigger than this, so we can multiply by minus 1 on the both hand sides and let t to the power of 3 be in the front of the left hand side. It will be t cubed minus t squared and then plus 2 is 0. How to solve this equation? By factorizing, of course, you can do. This 2 of course, we have to write this 2 as 1 plus 1. Why? 
because one is one cube and one is also one squared. It is a cube number. It is also a square number. So this is the only benefit. And then t cube minus one minus t squared. Uh, sorry, here is plus one. Here is also plus one. t cubed plus 1. This one can be written as 1 cube. And then minus. Here if we add a bracket and this plus should be changed into minus. Oh, here is minus 1 to the power of 2. It's 0. So then, first, we should factorize t cube but then plus 1 cube. It is t plus 1 and then times t squared minus t and then plus 1 and then minus t squared minus 1 squared it can also be factorized t minus 1 and then times t plus 1 the right hand side is still 0 a term can be taken out that is t plus 1. So t plus 1, t plus 1. t plus 1, then times t squared minus t, then minus t, minus 2t. And now, plus 1, minus 1, 0? Of course, you are wrong. Why? Because here, in front of the bracket, is a minus sign. It's a negative sign, so we should change this minus into plus. So plus 1, then plus 1 is plus 2. Is 0. If there is a negative sign in front of each bracket, then the signs in the brackets should be changed. For example, plus, it should be changed into minus, and minus, it should be turned into plus. So now, there are two cases. The first case, is when t plus 1 is 0. But we all know that in this case, t is negative 1. But t should be greater than 0. It should be positive. So in this case, there aren't any solutions. The second case, when t squared minus 2t plus 2 is 0 t squared minus 2t. So it's a part of t minus 1 all squared. So if we add 1, and then because here is plus 2, so we only have to plus 1 here. So then t squared minus 2t then plus 1, it is t minus 1 all squared. And then plus 1 is 0. But we all know that t minus 1 all squared it is always non-negative. So a non-negative number than plus 1, it should always be greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, there aren't any solutions. So this equation doesn't have any solutions, any real solutions. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.